single match in 2019 World Cup to thrashing three former world champions, Afghanistan's journey in this World Cup has been nothing less than a dream. Well, talking about Afghanistan's matches in this World Cup, they have played six matches so far and out of those six matches, they have won three, defeating three former world champions, England, Sri Lanka and Pakistan. Well, I'll talk about all the matches in detail, but first up, let's have a look at the one of the most interesting matches in this World Cup where Afghanistan defeated England by 69 runs in Delhi. Well, that was a phenomenal win by the Afghanistan side. That was their first win in this tournament and that win gave them a boost up. That win gave them confidence that they can win matches in this uh, tournament and they can position themselves in the semis. Well, the road to semi-finals is quite far, but right now, how Afghanistan are performing, it's really commendable. Well, this win must have given them great confidence, but the win that tasted them the most sweet one was against Pakistan. Talking about this win against Pakistan, Afghanistan were waiting for this one from past 10-12 years. Afghanistan's most experienced player, Mohammad Nabi, did mention that uh, the whole team was waiting for this win uh, from quite a long. There were some close encounters between the two teams and if you recall that 2022 T20 World Cup where these two teams came very close to each other, it was a heated rivalry on field but off field also. The relationship between the two nations have always been stringent and that's why this win must have tasted very sweet to Afghanistan. Afghanistan also did a lap of honor after this win and as I'm saying again and again they really needed this win against Pakistan. They had some really close encounters in the past but this one was a clinical win because Afghanistan won this match by eight wickets. It was a great performance from Zadran and Gurbaz and if we talk about Afghanistan's performance so far in the ODI World Cup it's been their openers who have helped them with good partnerships and good steady uh, opening run in the whole tournament but something changed in the next match and that match was against Sri Lanka in this match uh, Gurbaz didn't work out well he went out without scoring a single run though Zadran played really well and Afghanistan's long problem the long problem resides in their middle order and everyone was quite unsure about whether this team will score runs uh, against Sri Lanka or not and especially they were quite unsure whether the middle order will be able to capitalize the starts that uh, generally the openers give. But in this match as I'm saying that Afghanistan versus Sri Lanka where Afghanistan won by seven wickets, we got three half centuries, one by Zadran, one by Hashmatullah Shahidi and the other one by Umar Zai. So all these three batters performed really well, they got this victory but actually the credit for this victory also goes to Jonathan Trott. Jonathan Trott has been on the game uh, on, the, on the board uh, very keenly and very calmly. He has taught this team how to contain their emotions, how to uh, play games with a calming effect and how to actually have their confidence up all the times. Now, uh, talking about Jonathan Trott, Jonathan Trott had his own plans. Now, those plans weren't mysterious because everybody saw how he maintained a white board which was quite uh, visible from the dressing room and that white board had targets to achieve in this match. Like uh, they had thought of uh, making 50 runs in the first 10 overs, then 100 runs in the 20 overs, so and so forth, so that this team can win the match in 48 overs. Well, this was a great, great strategy and actually it gives confidence to the players that they have achieved something uh, going from 10 overs to 20 and so on and so forth. And that's how Sri Lanka were defeated in this match by Afghanistan side. Now, Afghanistan were really, really uh, amazing in this match. Now, what is to be seen ahead in this tournament is how they will win the next three matches. Well, I'll come to those three matches a little later. Let's have a quick look at the performance by their bowlers. Now, Afghanistan are well known 
for their spinners and rightly so because in this tournament the bowlers the afghanistan bowlers who have played in all the matches so far the highest wicket taker for them is rashid khan rashid is a name who needs no introduction i believe that there are n number of fans in india and abroad of rashid khan and in this world cup as well he has taken the most wickets for his team and uh, after that it's naveen ul haq he has taken six wickets and then mujibur rahman is taken six wickets as well now talking about another bowler who has been really phenomenal for this side is fazal haq farooqi he played five matches and that's why his name is not here in the list this list is only about uh, the bowlers who have bowled in all the six matches fazal haq farooqi played in five matches and he has taken six uh, wickets he was a very very outstanding and uh, clinical against sri lanka he took really amazing wickets and he gave in very crucial breakthroughs to the afghanistan team whenever they needed so talking about the batters because i was talking about the batters a little while back that in this whole tournament batters have been really good so in terms of runs hashmatullah shahidi has been uh, a uh, really great and he has played captain's knock because to his name we have 226 runs in uh, the six matches that they have played facing 310 balls after that we have rehmanullah gurbaz now two names here are very very crucial one is gurbaz and one is zidran both are openers of the afghanistan uh, lineup they have been really great and if we look at the matches that they have played before the odi world cup as well these two names have always been the match winners for afghanistan side now uh, you see here gurbaz has scored 224 runs rehmat shah rehmat shah has also proven as a match winner for this side now rehmat and ibrahim zadran they have uh, scored 212 runs each and uh, that's how afghanistan are moving ahead in this world cup Now let's also have a quick look at the matches that they are yet to play in this tournament. Afghanistan will face the Netherlands on 3rd November, followed by their match against Australia on November 7th in Mumbai, and then Afghanistan will face South Africa on November 10th. Now two matches will be really really crucial. You can pick any two matches over here because if they manage to win in those two matches or for that matter even if they manage to win in all these three matches they can well be in the semi spot. Those semi road again I'm saying it's a long road but Afghanistan are currently on number 5 position after that win over Sri Lanka. So Afghanistan are moving really really well in this tournament. And talking about Afghanistan's journey I began this video by saying that from no win in 2019 which means that they lost all the nine matches in 2019 to a journey where they have defeated three former world champions it's been incredible and if i talk about the 2015 world cup ad- edition as well in that world cup afghanistan registered just one win and that win was also against scotland it wasn't against a team which was a full time member here the opponents are really really strong now uh, if i talk about that win against england they defeated defending champions if i talk about the win against pakistan pakistan one of the most uh, very actually capable team of the semi finals before this world cup they were the most favorites for the semis it's a really really big thing for afghanistan team to defeat a team like pakistan and england and then obviously against sri lanka their win was a uh, spectacular afghanistan are really high on confidence and uh, if i talk about afghanistan's most experienced player mohammad nabi in 2009 when he started featuring in odis he mustn't have thought that he will be seeing himself in such kind of a situation where they will be in a contention to be in the semis it must be a dream come true moment for nabi but not only for him for all other players as well it's it's a dream come true world cup for them well let's see what happens with them ahead in this tournament and for all those updates you stay tuned to cricket next